All right, part three of the Airsoft programming, this time from the handset itself. So what you're gonna do is make sure you are in frequency mode. As you can see, we're in channel mode because there's these little channel numbers on the side. If you still have the voice activated, it'll say channel mode when you turn it on or frequency mode. To do that on the older versions that have a VFO MR, you just hit this and then you'll be in frequency mode. If you don't have this button on, uh, I think it's like the GT3WP, some of the newer models, you have to turn it off and turn it back on while holding menu and it'll switch from channel mode to frequency mode. Now, let's say you have your frequency and you see here I've got one already set up um, on the B channel, unlock, and on the B, channel there we go uh, it's 462.625 that's like uh, GMRS channel 22 let's say so you find on the website I'll put in the description uh, you might want to print that out and laminate it and fold it up put it under the battery etc but that'll give you a frequency list of all the FRS and GMRS channels that's up to you to decide I'm just showing you how to save it into your radio also on the side of that chart will be all the privacy tones 67 hertz all the way up to whatever 200 and something hertz so what you're going to do is you're going to find your channel if all of your group or your people are using frs or gmrs radio walkie talkies etc they will have a channel and then they'll have a little dtcss channel on the side of it you can use that to limit who you can hear when they're talking. So if everybody's on 22-14, you're only gonna hear people that are transmitting on 22-14. If they're transmitting on 22 or any of the other channels on 22, you're not gonna hear them. Vice versa, if you're on 22 only, you'll hear all of them, 22, 22-1, 22-2, all, anyway. Watch a video on what peel tones and tone squelch actually mean and how it works. It's not privacy at all, but, you're going to look at the chart, you're going to find your channel, say 22, and right next to it will be a frequency. That'll be, let's say, for example, 462.625. If you don't know how to do that, you're going to unlock your keypad, and you can just punch in 462.625. Now, with that channel typed in like that, we can now hit menu, and we're going to go up to the RCTCSS. That'll be our receive frequency. And I just have one punched in already, 107.2. That I believe is a 14 on the privacy tones. So we're, right now we're setting up channel 22-14, let's say. So now we can go unlock again, let's auto lock. Anyway, menu, and now we go to our TCTCSS and we want those to match. That means we're transmitting and receiving on the privacy tone 14 on channel 22. Once we have all this set up, you can literally just hit menu and then hit menu again and you can up and down arrow on these and then hit menu again and see the little arrow goes back up to the top menu. It's on the bottom, you can change it. Top, that means it's saved. Now we can hit hidden up until we see mem channel. There it is. Now, if it's got a CH next to it, that means there's a channel programmed to that channel already. You have to delete it first if you want to use that 18 or 19. So now what we're going to do is keep going up until we see an empty slot. Oh, see, the CH went away. That means channel 33 is empty. We're going to hit menu again and see the CH now. That means that channel is saved to channel 33. We can verify that by getting out of the menu and going to... It'll exit, exit, there we go. And then we can go to channel mode. And now if we hit up channel, 60%. there's channel 33 saved. And if we hit menu to check it, we can go down to the TCTCS and DCTCS or whatever. Yeah, see the T is saved and the R is saved. So you have now just programmed in a 462 dot six two five megahertz whatever channel that is on frs or gmrs and you've also added in the receive and transmit ctcs of let's say it's 14. 
So that's how you do it. If they got, if they're on channel 22-14, look on the chart, find the frequency, type in the frequency, find the PL tone you want to use, go to the RCTCS and TCTCS and punch those in to match, and then exit out of there, and then if I go up to uh, mem channel, save it as a new mem channel, and then you can go to channel mode, and it'll be saved in there. You can also delete channel on delete channel, whatever menu number that is, and uh, start fresh if you didn't want that channel or you messed up any of the steps. So there, right after option number 29, 27 and 28, mem channel, delete channel. So there you go. Like if you like, subscribe if you want to see more. And as always, keep on modding.